Hey everyone, this is Yami, your Latina Next Door. Welcome back to my channel. Since tomorrow is the official first day of spring, I thought I would bring you guys three elegant DIYs in order to get you inspired for this season. These are all very inexpensive and very easy to recreate. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Now, what better way to welcome spring than putting a brand new wreath up on your front door? Now, I used a foam wreath from Hobby Lobby, but you can use the ones from Dollar Tree in this. And I just wrapped it around very nicely and neatly with the burlap wire ribbon that you can get at your local Dollar Tree. I also used some of these spring bushes that I shared with my last Dollar Tree haul, as well as some of the lamb's ear little bushes that I got from Walmart that are only 97 cents a piece. I also had a long stem from Michael's clearance sale last year that I decided to use as well. And basically I just cut the leaves down and the stems and I just started placing them on the wreath, trying to figure out how I wanted to place them. What I knew was I only wanted them on one portion of the wreath, so I decided to focus on one area and kind of make it fan out. I knew I wanted the yellow roses to be the center of attention, so I picked the three largest and prettiest and centered them on to the middle of the area where I wanted the greenery on the wreath. Now I did cut the stems pretty short, but I made sure to add hot glue onto the back of the flowers and then added the leaves onto them as well. That way the flower did not come apart after it was glued onto the wreath. Once I was happy with my roses, then I cut down the little baby breath and I started adding it to the perimeter of the flowers. I did the same thing with the rest of the white little flowers as well as the rest of the greenery. Then I took some ribbon in navy and white that I had bought at Walmart and it was left over from another project. I made one small loop and then two a little bit larger loops of the same size. Once they were dry, I took the two larger ones and kind of crossed them over each other, placed the small one at the very top, then took a small piece and hot glued it over the center of it to make a bow. Then I cut a long piece of ribbon and just glued it to the back of the bow. And then finally, I had this large letter P for our last name, and I've had it for a while. I took some of my folk art vintage white paint, and I decided to give it a little bit of a makeover. I painted it with two coats, and I wanted it kind of like an off-white, an in-between white and the flowers on the wreath. And then once that was dry, I hot glued it to the wreath along with my big bow, and I must say it looks pretty awesome on my front door. All right, so for my next DIY, I use the cardboard inner lining of this duct tape roll that I had left over. But you can use anything you have on hand as long as it is nice and round and has even sides. Next, you're gonna need these Waddells from Dollar Tree. And finally, you're gonna need some hot glue. So basically, you are going to take the hot glue and you're gonna hot glue those wooden dowels onto your container or whatever it is you're using for this. Just be sure that once you hot glue the wood stick on, that you stand it up on your surface and push down to make sure that it is lying flat and straight on the bottom portion of your container. Then simply continue to glue those little wooden dowels all around. Now, if they don't meet perfectly at the very end, don't worry about it. Just try to keep it as neat and as tight as possible. Then since the top wasn't adhered to anything, I just poured some hot glue between the sticks and on top to keep them nice and together and firm. Don't worry, you will not see this in a minute. 
Now for the next step, I decided to add jute around the wooden towels to give it a nice coastal farmhouse feel. Now you don't have to do this. You can use ribbon if you want instead, and you don't have to make this permanent either. You can um, use the ribbon and then replace it whenever you feel like replacing your color scheme. And then once that was done, I took one of the soccer balls from the Dollar Tree toy section and put it on top of my little vase. Now you can adhere it and make it permanent or you can just sit it on top and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. Now, remember those roses that I hauled from a Dollar Tree? Well, I am going to use this in this DIY. I am going to cut all of these roses off their stems and I am going to insert them along with hot glue into that little soccer ball. I placed some glue at the base of the flower and at the tip of the stem and I just inserted it at the very bottom. Then I continued my way around. Then when I started my second row of roses, I made sure to place them above and in between the ones below. I continued this all the way to the very top of the soccer ball. Then when it was covered, I flipped it over and the area on the bottom that did not have any flowers, I took some of the leaves and I hot glued it around the bottom perimeter as you see here. This is going to cover that little area of hot glue on that little wooden base. Then if there were any areas where the soccer ball was peeking through, I would just hot glue some of those petals together and hide those spaces. And that was it for this one. Look how beautiful it is. It could even be a beautiful wedding centerpiece, but this will look great in your home, on a bookshelf, next to a lamp, you name it. It is so simple yet gorgeous. And Another great thing about this is that if you don't make it permanent, you can just swap out the little flower balls any time you want to adjust for the seasons. Okay, on to DIY number three. Remember when I made this candle and floral arrangement for Christmas? Now, I made that out of a thrifted candle holder and I made that burlap box out of poster board. I'll link to the video if you guys wanna check it out. Well, it was time to give it a spring makeover. I took out the candle holder as well as all of the Christmas picks. Now I had these beautiful floral bushes that I bought last year during Michael's spring clearance sale and I wanted to use them in this along with some items from my local Dollar Tree and some of the items that were in that Christmas arrangement as well. Now as you can see, I left the Dollar Tree floral foam inside of the box as well as the Dollar Tree garland and I wrapped it around the floral foam in order to make it simulate grass. So the first thing I did was cut all the stems and I kind of kept them pretty long because I wanted to make sure my arrangement had height. Now I think floral arrangements look very elegant when there's symmetry involved. So as you can see, I placed one large multicolored rose in the center and added two on either side. Then when adding the white flowers on either side, I made sure there was the same number of them and they were placed in similar locations on either side of the box. Those hydrangeas are from a Dollar Tree and I thought they were the perfect green flower to go in between the rest of them. Then I had one very large eucalyptus stem for $3 that I got at Walmart. I cut it down and I used the individual stems and bent them over and inserted them at the corners. That way they hung over the box and looked even more lifelike. Now I reused these stems from that window arrangement that I just undid and I inserted them in between the large roses. I thought it gave this nice height. And I also reused the lamb's ear little stems from that window arrangement as well to use as filler. Also, it's good to keep some of the leaves and bushes from when you remove stems like this and use these in your arrangements as a filler. So I just went ahead and found some areas that needed to be filled up that you can see the foam in and just inserted them wherever I thought needed it. 
I love how using a couple of higher end floral pieces as well as some leftover items and some stuff from the Dollar Tree can really make an amazing and elegant arrangement for your decor. And since I reused the same box, I only had a few picks to put away and it was easy storage. I'd love to know what you think about this flower arrangement and I will make sure to link how to make that box at the very end of this video. Now, if you're still watching this, you know I'd love to know which one is your favorite DIY. Was it the wreath? Was it the little wooden dowel vase? Or was it the final large arrangement for any tablescape? All right, you guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, adios.